Hello team and welcome to today's video in Excel where I'll be sharing with you how to use the XLOOKUP function to search for a return value using two and three sets of criteria. Let's jump in. As you can see, I have a basic spreadsheet here of employee data. And in our first example, I want to search by age and hire year to return an employee name. In order to complete this dynamically, we'll start by entering in the XLOOKUP function. For the lookup value, I'll enter the number one, and this'll ensure that Excel looks for an exact match. After a comma for the lookup array, I'm going to open up a parentheses because we're going to have two sets of criteria, and then I'll highlight the entire age column. Afterwards, I'll set that equal to this cell where I'm gonna be entering in the employee age. After a close parentheses, I'll enter in the asterisk symbol, which indicates an AND operator in this Excel function. Function. Another open parentheses. And my second set of criteria is the higher year, so I'll highlight that entire column. And I'll set that equal to the cell below where I'm going to be entering in the higher year. After a close parentheses and a comma, Excel brings me to the return array argument for this function. I want to return the employee name, so I'll highlight the entire first name column. One final comma, and then I'm brought to the if not found argument for this function. And just so we don't have an error or any blanks, I'll enter in quotations, no match for if there isn't a match found. One final close parentheses and then click enter. You'll see Excel is currently telling me there's no match because I haven't entered any data yet. So if we enter the information for Carla Davis, whose age is 41 and higher year is 2015, you'll see that name is now returned correctly. And you'll see that both criteria do have to match. So if I enter an age of 37 for David Lee, you'll see the name return now says no match. But if I enter the higher year of 2019, I get the correct name. Okay team, now let's take a look at how to add an additional set of criteria for this function. To begin, I'll open back up the formula and I'm going to be adding the criteria of department. So heading back to the lookup array argument for this function, I'll enter another asterisk, open parentheses, the lookup array will be department, so I'll highlight that column, and I'll set that equal to the department that I'll enter in. Again, close parentheses, and now I can click enter. You'll see there's currently no match for name returned because we entered in that additional criteria. So if I set the department for David Lee to IT, you'll see that name is now returned correctly. Before we wrap up, if you'd like to learn more about the XLOOKUP function, please check out my video linked in the description. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.